Hi, it's Marek from Hubble Digital and in this question of the week I will be answering whether you should split test or A-B test the marketing and sales emails that you send out and how to get the best results. So in very short, yes, you should absolutely be split testing your external communications as it helps you better understand what content, colors and imagery work best for your audience. But it is important to remember to only test one thing at a time. After all, if you're split testing your subject line, the header image, colors in the email and location of the CTA and one of the emails works better, what is it that won it? How do you decide what was actually helpful? Now HubSpot makes it super easy for you to split test in regular emails. They're the ones that are sent as a one-off. There is an original A version and then a test B variation version. So first decide what the goal of your email is. Is it engagement? So replies from people reading. Is it visits to the website or more online sales? This will help determine what you can be experimenting with. And here are some examples that you can and should be testing with. So first up, of course, the first thing people see, the subject line. Try and include wording in all capitals or add emojis and see how that affects open rates to your email. Imagery is a really subconscious area, but the images that you share definitely make an impact on your readers. So try testing different types of images to see whether they encourage people to engage with you. Content. Now, of course, your brand has a tone of voice and the information that you share and how that's worded all make an impression on your audience. So try out different ways of saying something and see whether that makes a change to click through rates. And finally, called calls to action. So most people, when I talk to them, just think, oh yeah, changing the color of the CTA, that's fine, we've tried it, this is what we do and this is what we use. But actually, there's a lot more that you can do and test with calls to action. For example, the location of a CTA can make a big difference. If people don't scroll down to the end of your email, they might miss yours. So why not try it out in different places where it sits naturally and see what kind of change that makes. Beyond that, you can have a look at using image CTAs instead of just a button with text. That might engage people more and encourage them to click through. Otherwise, you could, you could indeed try different colors or changing up the text. Maybe buy now works better, but what about browse more? Your audience can tell you what works best for them and the stats will show us after we send the email. Are there any more things that you tend to test? Share with us in the comments. We always love to learn. There is also a way to split test automated emails in HubSpot. The setup is a bit more complicated, so we'll go into that another time. I hope this was helpful and um, see you next time.